or we can say strictly strictly decreasing function both are same only okay decreasing function or strictly decreasing function both are same what is decreasing function a function is called decreasing function decreasing function if we increase if we increase x values then y value should decrease y value should decrease then function is called function is called decreasing function okay for example y equal to e power minus x so that function graph is what like this will come this is y axis this is x axis so graph will come like this so you can see that if you increase the x value then y value is what decreasing it is coming down so this function is called decreasing function or we can say strictly decreasing function okay next example is what y equal to minus x plus 3 so what is the graph of this one this is x axis this is y axis so y equal to minus x plus 3 graph will come this one so this is what x equal to 3 and this is what y equal to y equal to 3 so this is strictly decreasing function okay next we are discussing that how to find out whether a function is decreasing function or not if graph is given we can find out easily but if graph is not given then how to find out that we are discussing now for that we are taking one graph so this graph we are taking this graph you can say it is a strictly decreasing function graph okay so by this graph i will explain that without graph how to find out okay so on this graph if you find out slope of tangent at any point then what you will do we will differentiate this one so what will you do dy by dx so dy by dx dot f dash x okay so you can see here this is what x equal to alpha 1 this point is what x equal to alpha 2 this point is x equal to alpha 3 this point is x equal to alpha 4 this point is x equal to alpha 5 at this point if you find out slope of tangent okay at this point if you want to find out slope of tangent so with respect to this one what is x value alpha 1 so alpha 1 we have to put here so what will come here f dash alpha 1 so what is the slope of tangent at this point f dash alpha 1 so if you draw tangent this will come like that so this will make suppose theta 1 angle with positive x axis okay so slope of tangent f dash alpha 1 what will come tan of theta 1 similarly at this point if you find out slope of tangent so with respect to this one x value is what alpha 2 so x equal to alpha 2 if you put here so what will come f dash alpha 2 okay and if you draw tangent here so this will come like that so you can see here this tangent is what parallel to x axis that means this tangent will make theta 2 angle and theta 2 will be what 0 degree Okay, so this tangent will make 0 degree with positive x axis because it is parallel to x axis. So f dash alpha 2 is what tan of theta 2 and theta 2 is what 0. So this will become what 0. Similarly, at this point, if you find out slope, so x equal to alpha 3, if you put here, so what will come here? f dash alpha 3. And if you draw tangent, so it will become like that. So this will make theta 3 angle with positive x axis. So f dash alpha 3 is what tan of theta 3. Similarly, at this point, if you want to find out tangent, slope of tangent what x equal to alpha 4, you have to put here. So what will come? F dash alpha 4. Okay, and tangent will be like that will come. So this tangent is also parallel to x axis. So what is the angle will come? 0 degree. So here we can say theta 4 should be what? 0 degree. Okay, so this is what f dash alpha 4 is what tan of 
theta 4 so this will be 0 will come similarly at this point what will come this one so slope of tangent will what f dash alpha 5 and this will make theta 5 angle theta 5 so it will come tan of theta 5 okay now in this one if you see that at this point angle is what theta 1 angle and at this point 0 degree at this point theta 3 at this point 0 and at this point theta 5 if you check theta 1 theta 3 theta 5 that is obtuse and theta 4 and theta 2 is what 0 so on this curve if i take any point and if i draw a tangent that tangent will make either obtuse angle or 0 degree so we can say that at any point on the curve tangent tangents tangents are making obtuse angle or zero degree zero degree with positive x axis okay positive x axis then slope of tangent will be what if it is making obtuse angle then slope is negative if it is making zero so slope will be zero so we can say that m should be what either less than or equal to zero okay and what is slope this one so this is what m so we can say that dy by dx equal to f dash x should be what less than or equal to zero okay equal to zero we are getting at alpha 2 and alpha 4 and you can say alpha 2 and alpha 4 is a discrete point so here we can say that f dash x equal to zero at discrete point same as increasing function in increasing function also we discussed that for increasing function f dash x should be greater than or equal to zero equal to zero at discrete point then why you can say that function is increasing function same thing here decreasing also f dash x should be what less than or equal to zero equal to zero at discrete point okay so what is discrete point here i am explaining full okay in details i am explaining so at alpha 2 if you check at alpha 2 f dash alpha 2 is what zero okay so x equal to alpha 2 f dash alpha 2 is what zero okay so discrete point is what if i take any point right hand side of alpha 2 nearest point neighborhood point we are taking so we are taking x equal to what alpha 2 plus h so this point is what right hand side of alpha 2 and h is what very very small very very small and if you find out slope so what you call f dash alpha 2 plus h okay so for decreasing function this value should come less than zero okay it should not be zero it should be always negative equal to zero should not be there similarly if i take any point on left hand side so what become x equal to alpha 2 minus h and here h is what very very small and here also if you find out slope so what become f dash alpha 2 minus h okay for decreasing function this must be negative okay so for discrete point if you see at any point at any point where f dash x is 0 okay so x belongs x equal to a f dash a will be 0 then neighborhood of a slope should be what negative for decreasing function so here at x equal to a plus h f dash a plus h should be less than 0 and x equal to a minus h f dash a minus h should be less than 0 for decreasing function and here h is what very very small h is tending to 0 for increasing function at x equal to a f dash a should be what 0 and at these points f dash a plus h and f dash a minus h for increasing function it should be greater than 0 okay so for anywhere at x equal to a if it is becoming 0 the neighborhood it should be what negative slope should be negative for decreasing function for increasing function slope should be positive